This is my review of the Philo app. I've been using Clear Choice, which has a lot more channels for slightly less price. But uh, it's really glitchy, kicks you out a lot. The DVR function kind of stinks and it doesn't store very many shows. And the guide, you know, if something wasn't in the guide, you couldn't record it. And the guide often didn't go more than like six hours out. Occasionally even the guide on it wouldn't uh, have shows that were currently playing. So I tried Philo out, which is $25 a month, but it has unlimited DVR. And the stuff streams a lot better. It will drop the resolution if you have a slower internet. Like my internet usually runs like a 3 meg download speed which seems to run this really really well but uh if it would drop down into the twos like clear choice it was worthless couldn't do anything on clear choice with a two meg speed but this one will drop the resolution so you can actually watch stuff even at two megs but the one thing that's been confusing on this is the dvr function as i'm learning how to use it but now it makes sense if there's a show that you like you can make it saved like I watch uh, well if you want to watch Bering Sea Gold 90 Day Fiance whatever it is but I watch uh, uh, Street Outlaws that's one of my favorite shows so I've got it saved here Street Outlaws this isn't one that's really currently playing new episodes I don't believe but when you search for it and as you're adding it to your DVR stuff and your save shows, you go over here and you hit save. And then from then on out, it starts recording new shows and DVRs them for you so you don't have to watch commercials. Let me see if I can show you a good example because it's, it's really kind of a slick setup. Let's go here to Pawn Stars. So here's a new episode of Pawn Stars and when I see it you can see it says DVR there rather than and it's not focusing well rather than VOD for video on demand when I watch this show I can fast forward through commercials but all the old episodes are just automatically in here let's go back far enough before things start recording you can see that says video on demand now i can watch this show works perfectly fine but when i watch it i have to watch commercials but anything new that airs on my saved shows gets automatically dvr'd for me and when i watch it i can fast forward through the commercials so either way it works pretty slick but there's not a record button you can't force it to record but it is automatically recording every one of your saved shows and that's how you can tell the difference like i just showed you when you click on it it says DVR rather than uh, VOD for video on demand. But this has been working really well. The problem with Philo is for people that watch sports and local channels. Basically everything else, all the reality TV, everything else you watch on cables on there. Uh, the other thing I should mention too is it's missing uh, a lot of the news channels. If you watch, well CNN might be on there, I don't know, but Fox News... That's probably the most popular news channel. Fox News is not on there. ESPN's not on there. Local channels are not on there. But if you're not a sports guy and don't watch much news or you want to use apps in other ways to watch TV, this is by far the cheapest way to go. And it is a relatively slick setup and not a lot of buffering. or uh, And it's not glitchy. There's enough people running this and they've worked really hard at getting this app running correctly. I've got it loaded on the Fire Stick. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other ways you can watch this, but I've been really happy with Philo, not very happy with Clear Choice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you got anything out of this. I need subscribers. I don't particularly need, particularly need uh, viewing hours to be monetized, but I do need subscribers. Thanks again.